We're in a swimming pool. We are in a swimming pool. That's going to sound crazy. Yep. Anyway, I'm Kevin. I'm Laura. And we are Vegan Vegan RV. RV. Uh, Peace out, Loretta. We're out. We only spent the night. Yep. Um, Cool little town, but uh, having to stay outside the city, just eh. Yeah. And we need to get to a bigger, better place because we also heard... Hey, look who that is. <laughs> he always finds a way into the video, everybody. In fact, hold on. Let me see if I can put him on my shoulder. Hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> uh, so we go to a pause because there's a farmer's market. Yes. And I also found out that the day the farmer's market opened, this place called La Massa Bakery mm-hmm. has vegan day. Yep. So Ended they, up not being vegan day, though. It wasn't 100 we got excited because we thought it was going to be all vegan. But it's that not. wasn't the case, but they had vegan chocolate croissants. So uh, that, so we are okay with that. Yeah, that negated any issues yep. we had. They were delicious too, by they the way. They were amazing. And she was super nice. Yep. yep. Um, gave us a few pointers on some vegan places in town. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we headed up to the farmer's market. Yes. Farmer's Market was delish. We stocked some nice vegetables. They had yep. squash blossoms, which, which is awesome. very often. There were a couple of vendors who actually had stuff labeled vegan. Yeah. Um, um, there were tamales that were vegan. Yep. And there yeah. was uh, one other thing. It was uh, uh, the guy who had like the chimichurri sauces. He had like different sauces. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, they were all marked vegan. So yeah. that was super cool. Yep. It's like something that you don't normally see. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> I can hear Paul up there recording. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, so from there, yeah. uh, what did we do after that? We walked around a little bit, and then we went to... Oh, so we walked around, met up with Paul and Lorena, because they came in a little late. Well, no, we met them later, because we went to Cappuccino first. Oh, yeah, we went to Cappuccino. What? Cappuccino like the monkey. Not like the drink. Yep. And that was fantastical. Like, yeah. we're going back. We're about to head back to La Paz. So, it might <laughs> sound you. weird. The, the tacos, they make these, um, what are they, El Pastor? Yeah. Tacos, and they call them falafel tacos. So, they make, like, falafel balls that they season El Pastor. El Pastor. Yeah. And it's really good. So it's it, amazing. It doesn't taste like a falafel. Mm-hmm. Like I was thinking, oh, they're going to take falafel mix and they're going to put it in a taco. That's okay, whatever. I'll try it. But no, this was amazing. And bonus on the day that we were there. <laughs> so you'll see a lot of signs that say three for two or whatever. Um, so we're like, oh, we can get uh, three tacos for the price of two. It's three platters of tacos for the price of two. But you know what? We, we ate, ate them all. all. <laughs> Ain't no lie about that. It was delicious. Yep. Do we have dessert? Oh, I had dessert. I, I forgot what dessert. I had. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you had the chocolate something. Yeah, it was a... So, no, no, it wasn't... Um, no, I had a... They had a... Um, like a raw cheesecake. They can't was, see that. Raw cheesecake. Raw this, cheesecake. This is her... <laughs> I had a baby cheesecake. That's yeah, it was what, small. That, it was that, about... It was literally about this big. Um, Ethiopian food. But it was perfect. Baby cheesecake. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really good. Yep. Then we met up with the dudes after that. Mm-hmm. So we were with Tom and Faye the morning. Yeah. Met up with Paul and Lorena. Yeah. Walked along the Malacan. Yes. What is the Malacan, Kevin? It's the Male plus the Con. <laughs> uh, it's like the river walk stretch or well, river walk, river. the ocean walk. <laughs> Like yeah. uh, along it's the like beach. like the boardwalk. Yeah, the boardwalk. Mm-hmm. Um, super cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, nobody really bothering you. Yeah. Like, not a lot of street vendors. Yeah, they're just like couple, really pretty. Yeah, there were a couple of street performers out. Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Are you doing your Jake break? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of Jake break in here. Yeah. Um, but let's, why don't we let them see all of this and then. Uh, we can come back. Like all of this, we're in a pool. <laughs> we'll see you guys after the break. Yes. It's crazy sharp 
farmer's market and oh my god so many great things so many great things <laughs> So we're having lunch at this cute little place. This is a uh, cocoa lemonade is what they call it. It's basically coconut and lime, which of course go amazing together. Okay. Kevin got the strawberry lemonade. Pinky pink. Uh, all right, first impression. Kevin drinking his strawberry lemonade. And he's screaming it through his uh -huh. There's none left. Have a good day. <laughs> it's terrible and I don't want any. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so they had a special today. It was um, three, um, three tacos for the price of two. But that means three orders of tacos for the price of two. <laughs> so <laughs> we're getting down on it. Somebody's got to do it. Right? I don't even know what you're doing. I'm showing them the pretty water and everything. It's beautiful. Just like this one. There's a parrot up in this tree. <laughs> what kind of birds are there? Parrot. Oh. Where would you walk towards the main point? 
So in La Paz, we stayed here at Aquamarine Campground. I guess there we go. And I can see there's some water back there. Um, you hear all those birds? Most of them are parrots. It's pretty cool. They're up there in those trees. Um, nothing too super special about this campground. It's, well, you know, not super packed, but the sites are a little tight, a little close together. Um, and there's a, they give you a, a clicker for the gate, so it's pretty secure in here. And um, here, I'll walk over this way just so you can see the water. Here we go. It's pretty back there. It was 500 pesos a night, which ends up to being like $26. And we, um, we just stayed here two nights. It was pretty convenient to the town center. We're just a little bit, I guess, north to the top. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know my direction here, but um, anyway. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you some other things around here. So, looks like these might be pomegranates. There are a bunch of fruit trees here. I'm going to take you over to some oranges that are kind of cool. So look at those little tiny oranges. We got one off and opened it up and I think that... I think it's a Japanese variety of um, mandarin, but... Kevin says he won't eat them, so I guess I won't either. Orange tree, normal size oranges. So this place is super cool, but definitely in disrepair. The woman who owns it is like 97 years old, and um, I guess that the place is sold, and once she dies, then I guess the new owners will do whatever they're going to do with it. Um, but there's like a some ap apartments on here, and it, there's a house, and just some. That's a um, a guest cottage. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of sad. It could be a really cool place, but um, who knows what it'll be in its next lifetime. Food, 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 mm -hmm. food, 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 food. Yeah. Really and because good. we like food, we're going out for some more food. This time we head out uh, towards the evening mm -hmm. um, and we walk a little bit more of the Malacan. Yes. Uh, and to our surprise, we walk by this place that I think is like a restaurant on one side and a bar on the other, maybe mm -hmm. in between the street. So on the roof, I'm guessing whenever you order, they have a uh, hand drawn, like, Pulley, a little trolley cart. Little trolley cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yep. they're like bringing things back and forth yeah. between the two buildings. It was so crazy. It yeah. was pretty awesome. Like, yeah, it was awesome that we saw it because had it not been going across, I don't think it would have caught anybody's eye because it just looked like a cable between two yeah. buildings. I think I heard it before I saw it. Yeah, uh, it was, it was, it was awesome. Yeah, we didn't stop there for drinks or food because we were heading yeah. out to another restaurant called uh, El El Zarape. Um, super highly, it was pretty highly rated, not super highly rated, pretty highly rated in Happy Cow. It was like, oh yeah, they know what vegan food is. They'll cook you all this special stuff. Yeah. We go there, dude didn't know what vegan was. He kept mixing it up with everything else and mm -hmm. it just ended up being a crappy meal of the hot zucchini. Yeah. So anyway, is what it is. Yep. You know, they it can't happened. all be winners. It happens sometimes. Yep. Not that often to us, yeah. but sometimes. It's just like, I guess, with everybody else who goes out to eat, sometimes you're going to eat at a crappy restaurant, right? Yep. Is what it is. Yep. Uh, so then we just walked back to the car and didn't do much else that night. But True. let's talk about the park that we're at. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool park, but it's, it's called kind of Aquamina, a... Aqua Marina RV. Yeah, but it's kind of a sad story behind it. Um, so the woman, um, the woman who owns it has dementia. Yeah. Like she can't remember, like we paid her the money for the spots 
we walk inside to go sign the paperwork and she goes uh it's gonna be this much and we're like we already paid you yeah. and then it's so it's a little rough yeah. i felt so bad but like it's crazy like her husband died a long time ago you know she has dementia now but like when you hear the stories about her like she was one of like the first mexican navy seals female navy seals or like well, she, sea captain or something yeah, like this she, she, supposedly she has got like all kinds of crazy like maritime awards so that's awesome and she has some of the stuff in the house but it's just a sad story yeah but yeah. it's cool grounds and it definitely has potential yeah it's the closest that you're gonna get to a pause um, park, yeah. But, like, in the end, for kind of the hassle, it's like a, I don't know. Yeah. Sites are starting to get overgrown. But anyway. If you're, if you're looking for security, though, you do, uh, oh there God. is a um, gate yeah. around the whole thing, and you get a clicker to come in and out. Yeah, so, a little remote. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't anyway. have any trouble there. It was nice. Yeah. So, way to end this one on such a sour note. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. She's a sweetheart, though. Yeah. It just it's gonna take some time know that going into it and if you don't want to you know kind of deal with that you, there's mm -hmm. campestre marathona or something like that mm -hmm. there's a couple other spots to in uh, la paz yeah. that you can park at i think we're staying at this other one on the way back up so, so you'll get to see it in a future episode yep. foreshadowing <laughs> but cool. we're not there yet actually at the time of this video so nope we're so, just in a pool we're just in an empty pool for reasons I'm expecting like a candy bar to fly across my face at some point. Yeah, Tom threatened to throw one in here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Though with him, I don't know if it's going to be a candy bar. He may forget and do one of his cow patty tossing no, things. No, that would be terrible. He's a weirdo. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, anyway, cool. That's where we're going to end it. Yep. So if you like the video, minus this total bummer ending give us a thumbs up yep. uh, or hit the bell uh, and that will let you know when we put out a future episode True. as we head back up Baja Sur into Baja Norte back into the US yep. um, and you can check us out like all the latest stuff that we're doing is on Instagram and Facebook mm -hmm. uh, so check it out there and if you're in the town hit us up let's go out and have some food yep. right doesn't always have to be a vegan restaurant, but as long as they got options, we're down. Yep. Uh, we like, you know, hanging out with people. True. So, anything else you want to add? No, I think that's about it. All right, let's swim out of this one. See you guys. <laughs>